Alright guys, Touchcrime back again today. I hope you enjoyed your day so far and yesterday was a remarkable one. I actually got a decent night's sleep for the first time in a while and that means we're going to be doing a triple upload once again today. There's so much going on in the Call of Duty competitive community right now. Hopefully you guys are enjoying Black Ops Card War, those of you who are playing it. But today, first of all, we're going to talk about a bit of a spicy topic which came out a couple of days ago on the NRG Duo podcast. You may have noticed, well I think we talked about it on the channel actually, about it, well, pretty much the start of November. Hastro did a few tweets talking about how, well, winning is everything for him at least and his philosophy in terms of esports competitive nature and well maybe we talked about how was he calling out 100 thieves to some degree being like a hoodie brand being a merchandise brand this type of stuff Hector kind of fired back to a degree on the NRG duo podcast suggesting that look content is the fundamentals of everything not only does content allow you to build personalities and build sponsorship branding effectively to the point where you can actually make money to create great teams by paying for great players but at the same time it also creates the ecosystem around the esports who would care who wins championships if there wasn't teams making content showing why those championships are important so interesting discussion back and forth very intrigued to hear your thoughts in the conversation right like if you guys enjoyed the video subscribe if you were new as always i would greatly appreciate it really helps out the channel lots of new subscribers as well over the last couple of days so welcome if that is one of you let's get into things then so these are the tweets that um, hastro came out with several days ago now and as hector says on this knowledge was dropped who's watched the latest episode of the nrg duo podcast i certainly have lots of interesting talking points in this one and well these are hastro's tweets that came out a few days ago now i don't want to be a team owner whose aim is to sell you hoodies and make you watch videos i want to be a team owner who lets you experience winning ask yourself why you cheer for some of these teams who sign big personalities just so they can sell you stuff when you could be an envy fan and know you will experience w's so of course well we've seen hastro talk about this before and like the eavesdrop podcast and stuff and hastro definitely has the philosophy of like winning is first and hex has the philosophy of like content is first right and he's talked about how he'd be quite happy for his team occasionally to take days off scrims if it meant them competing in a war zone tournament which could potentially grow their brand and get a well much better things down the line it isn't always necessarily about winning winning comes as a result of having a well a very successful branding deal and i think really we saw this frankly with optic gaming throughout the um, well the early part of the, their career quite frankly 2013 2014 not the most successful team but had big names to the point where they can then you know have the money and the reputation to then bring on like karma and crimsix and these guys to the point where they form the dynasty and end up uh, well having that fantastic run of winning the world championship in 2017 as we will look out here Hastro continues with I'm here to sign the absolute best talent in all of esports leaving the selling so the selling of merch the selling of hoodies to other people and so yeah don't need to add them if they're guilty they're guilty and everyone already knows about it right so you know I started this conversation etc I'm committed to being competitive and winning events all this good stuff thought this was kind of funny as well a couple of days ago home series drop I did say I would still sell you guys a hoodie though so not exactly um, out of the question that Hastro is going to go down this content merchandise route but it's not the fundamentals of team envy as an organization and let's show a couple of minutes here on what hector has to say on this issue about content the importance of content etc 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 because there's been a lot of movement going on and, and i look the, I've, I've always preached the importance of creating content right i, I know uh that some people would rather uh how did how did hastro put it um he would rather win championships win championships than, than sell hoodies, hoodies. Yeah, yeah than sell hoodies which is to me like look okay. I, I, I love Stroll, low Stroll, low, but here's my opinion on that like mind your business, you know. What I'm saying? <laughs> just, just mind your business. You if, run your business. Yeah, someone let, else run let your somebody business. else run their business. Stay. Uh, maybe. I will, say, Go ahead. I will say I think it's hilarious that they played each other in the finals. Uh, Envy versus Hunter T in the Valorant finals yesterday. Mm -hmm. that, that that like Hunter Thieves was still like. Uh, I, Envy I, crushed them. I think yeah. Them. I want to say Envy won, but that's yeah. I still find that hilarious that like they're still a very competitive team, even though he's like trying to take shots at them. Yeah, and like I mean. Yeah, but, uh, look, I, uh, maybe I do too good of a job of teetering on the I'm not going to get anyone mad, so I'm not going to have an opinion on this or an opinion on that. But, you know, it, 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 at times it gets a little bit old when when you're just out there talking shit, just talk shit. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm like if, if you're if your spiel is to, you know, win championships or whatever, like who the fuck cares? Like let people do what they want to do. Mm -hmm. Um I'm from the I'm from the school of content and eyeballs lead to everything else. Uh, mm -hmm. The reason I say that is because if you have enough eyeballs on you, then that means that you can sell enough sponsorships against it, which means that you can afford to get better players to then get the championship you do. Look, Hastro's gonna sit there and brag about him being the winning. The, he's got uh, what two world championships, right? Two world uh, Call of Duty championships, and mm -hmm. he's got the best placings out of anybody. But guess what? I have the most 
Call of Duty championships ever. I, I, I do agree in some instances that you have to remain competitive at some point, but you have to be competitive on everything that you do to succeed in this industry. If, you, if, if you're not out there to win content creator of the year, you're not doing a good job. If you're not out there to win uh, eSports show of the year, you're not doing a good enough job. If you're not out there to win every single, if there's a competition, you have to be about it because at the end of the day, everything that we do is competitive. It, 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 it arises from competitive and it, if it remains competitive, you elevate everybody around you to be more competitive and better at what they do. So thank you to all my peers who have pushed me to be who I am. Uh, but content is king, man, in, in every fashion, right? If nobody watched football, if nobody watched basketball, if nobody watched uh, that, who cares who won championships? No one would care. Mm -hmm. No one would care about the Super Bowl. No one would care about whatever. It's entertainment at the end of the day. So I thought I'd just look back at some of the LAN events that Optic competed in way back in the day. And as you can see, a very successful team in Black Ops 1, Black Ops 3, this type of era. And we'll have a look at Envy's uh, comparison, I suppose, in just a second. Because Hasbro's always, you know, he always talks about how at the World Championship of Call of Duty, Envy's the most successful team. They have the highest average placing. They have the most victories now, if you include Dallas Empire's victory, in addition to Team Envy's victory back in Black Ops 3 compared to any other organization. And I've done the best at the crown jewel, I suppose, of the Call of Duty calendar. But at the same time, they haven't won as many events as uh, Optic has right? and Hector is uh, quick to defend himself and say look you may have done the best at world championships but I actually have the most victories right and it's content in part which has helped drive that and you can see back in the day okay Modern Warfare 3 very successful team but then through Black Ops 2 and Ghosts really did have a pretty difficult time this is the team of Nade, Clayster, uh, Scump and Proof they won the X Games Invitational of course but through this period despite not really winning too much they were certainly the most dominant um, team in terms of the fan base and uh, well at every single event Optic was the team that people were cheering for and dominating the content and the YouTube side with Natrod and Scump especially and um, you know well of course Hector pushing everything out in a similar vein and well as you can see here this is the era where complexity was really dominant Envy had a couple of decent runs at the end of it and then they kind of poached formal from Team Envy who won Gfinity 3 onto the Advanced Warfare team and then this is kind of where it kicks off right so in part due to all the great um, arrangements they had and the fan base and the sponsorships they could acquire throughout Call of Duty Ghosts and Black Ops 2 they then were in a great position to actually get well get on this dominant team of formal Crim6 and Karma and then start absolutely dominating the scene. To Advanced Warfare, they dominate it, fall short of the World Championships though, and then Black Ops 3, they dominate it, fall short of the World Championships and Team Envy ended up winning this one. Pretty much a similar thing throughout Infinite Warfare. A couple of more hiccups in this season, quite frankly, but they finish off the job by actually winning the World Championship this year. Then it kind of falls apart and the last couple of seasons weren't so great, but Chicago Huntsman, of course, had a pretty decent run this season and who knows what Optic Chicago will manage to do this upcoming season with that pretty deadly squad of Scum formal envoy and dashy so we can look at this from a team envy perspective and you can see that's okay while like their focus is winning and not necessarily on content they don't necessarily do both and i thought there was an interesting point as well that i'm not sure it was in that clip that i just shared but they were kind of saying that the teams that don't do content also don't tend to win right and you can kind of see that when you look at the league this past season you've got chicago huntsman doing a lot of content dallas empire to their credit have a pretty successful youtube channel 20 or thousand subscribers they certainly are doing their job and you know kind of know what they're doing atlanta phase in a similar vein but the teams like the Paris Legion, the Seattle Surge, you know, these guys who aren't really making much content at all. I think Seattle actually did give it a go, but Paris Legion, not really. Those guys who aren't making much content, do they win as well? It's not exactly a trade-off, right? Because, um, yeah, it's not so simple as just that. And as you can see throughout Team Envy's career, they had some decent results back in the day. And I mean, Ghost, they won Gfinity 3, as I said, when Formal was on the team. Season 3 playoffs as well. Then Advanced Warfare, I mean, they won one event right here. I mean, a couple of events in Black Ops 3, the Stage 2 playoffs, and then the World Championship, as you can see. Really not the best results throughout these last couple of seasons either right so you know you look at this list of uh, well I suppose the the placings here on the left hand side compared to optics and despite having done better technically at world championships than um, than the optic gaming team has they haven't exactly had quite the same success so to finish off the video with a couple of things I thought this is pretty interesting we see all this yesterday as well that slasher and co are playing well these um these kind of online tournaments with Kenny TJ and Temp right so that's the question is Temp going to be on this team what's going on right now he seems like maybe the best free agent out there that is still possibly available available for this squad but um you know yeah pretty interesting team Kenny certainly has wanted to play with Temp for a long while but it seems potentially more and more likely by the day that this team will indeed be what's happening I think like we mentioned a seam the other day but he's been playing a little bit with Clayster on some of their teams so it's interesting to see how these first couple of days of online tournaments have gone on the new Call of Duty Black Ops card war and speaking of Black Ops card war and speaking of the Dallas Empire speaking of Shotzi I thought this was really cool as well so Shotzi's showing off his movement prowess he's done this a couple of times now in different clips on this um what is it our 
Armada Strike map where you can drop down from the lifeboats into this window. I was actually playing on this map last night and I was like, huh, maybe I could do that. And I think I did try it one time and just completely fell off the map and it didn't work. But clearly Shotzi's worked out how to do it already. And um, yeah, it's just smoking people on this map. Pretty fun map to be honest, at least to watch. Not sure how good it is to play. But um, yeah, I just thought it was pretty interesting to note how much of a, well, a fun POV Shotzi is to watch if you guys got the opportunity to get onto his stream and uh, see all this sort of stuff that he's doing. And um, well, certainly Treyarch need to be taking notes of anything that he might potentially break within the game state itself. And also, I thought this was funny as well in reply to this, saying, okay, like, Shotzi, obviously you can do this easy movement, and then, uh, well, when I try it, doesn't exactly work out to the, to the same effect. I'm sure you guys may have had similar experiences if you saw this last night and thought you would give it a go. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy it, I'd greatly appreciate a like on the video. It really helps out the YouTube algorithm know you enjoyed this content. Other people like you may enjoy this content as well and help grow the competitive Call of Duty community. Thank you for watching. I'm intrigued to hear your thoughts in the comment section below. Take care, and I will see you next time.